Why this personal guarantor of the corporate data category added to IBC itself? Because when there is no insolvency uh, permitted for sole proprietorship, partnership forms, what was the need for adding this, particularly for personal security shorties, I'm saying, not the corporate security shorties? Thank you, Sunilji, for giving this opportunity to me to explain uh, to the audience about the personal guarantee. Uh, there were various interpretations happening in the, uh, the financial world regarding the uh, personal guarantee. Tribunals were also giving multiple interpretations in the last couple of years regarding the personal guarantor and the corporate debtor. So eventually, eventually there was one case which was the uh, SBI versus uh, SBI versus Krishna, uh, Ramakrishnan, which said which actually gave the finality on the personal guarantors. They said the important aspect for determination to derive at the correct finding was whether moratorium under section 14 is applicable to the personal guarantors or not. So in those cases, what happened that the moratorium is not applicable to personal guarantor. And that's why this section, section 3 was introduced by the uh, by the code. Section, section uh, 2018 amendment modified section 2E, which said that the three, three categories of individuals will be included. One is the personal guarantors. Second is the partnership firms and the proprietor firms. And the last is other individuals. That is the reason because people were taking advantage of section 14 moratorium. And the clearly IBC specified that the personal guarantors will not be included in the section 14 moratorium. And that is the reason section 2 was amended in 2018 amendment act. So the liability of the surety, why, why this happened is also important to understand. That section 128 says that the liability of the surety is coextensive, coextensive with the principal debtor. Because of that, the lenders were having the practice, as you rightly said, lenders were having the practice of obtaining the guarantee, uh, the personal guarantee from the promoters of the corporate debtors. The personal guarantor is liable to discharge the debt obligation of the corporate debtor in accordance with the terms of the guarantee. So, an agreement, whatever agreement they execute, they were supposed to were binded by that. So in this provision, in section 128, this uh, particular this particular section 2E was introduced by the court. And there was the Supreme Court overturned this order, overturned the order and said that the moratorium is not applicable to the guarantors, to the corporate debtor. The court also found that the, the provisions were simultaneous pro pro uh, proceedings against the corporate debtor and personal guarantors will be there. So in these cases, that, that is the reason why Section 2E was introduced and this particular provision was introduced by the code. 